Peers, thanks for coming along with me to um, this convention. Uh, so we're getting ready to step into the room. It looks like service is already active. Um, keep in mind, I have not been to this uh, service before, so it's going to be our first time uh, taking a trip together. So uh, let's walk in. When the Philistines heard that David had been anointed, they came up looking for him. I do like but David. But one thing I love about God, when David heard that the Philistines were looking for him, the Bible said, but David went down into the H-O-L-D. He went down into the hold. In other words, he went into a fortified place. He went into a fortress. He went into a place where he could be shielded from danger. And a lot of times when we get in the hold, the devil don't understand it. What are they doing shutting up in church for 24 hours? What are they doing fasting mm. and praying? Mm. And then they're laying on their face before mm. God. Mm. You can just tell the devil, I'm in the hold. I'm in the hold. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. The devil don't when like you that. go into the hole, into the inner place with the Lord, Satan don't understand what's going on. He'll come and tip in, and he'll see you stretched out on the floor. Mm, laying prostrate moaning, before the Lord. Groaning, weeping, crying, Tally. talking in other tongues. He don't Spiritual know what's language. happened to you. But all you are doing is following the example of David. Yes, I'm going to stay in the hole until I get some power to come out and fight the enemy. Here's when you hey! power. That's what it is. We just need power. Okay? And the Spirit of God gives us power. I got to quit. When the Philistines heard that David had been anointed, they came up looking for him, the but he went down important. in the hole. But after a few days, when they couldn't find him, then the Philistines, they were kind of thrown off battle. And David wanted to know from God, well, Lord, what shall I do? Shall I go up against them? And God said, go. They've already Look spread the themselves in the valley of Raphium. And all I want you to do is kind of hem them in. They were and wait the okay. and don't move until you hear a sound of a going Lord. in the top of the mulberry trees. In other words, David say, I've been anointed. I've been down in the hole. But God said, don't move until you the hear me. Is and my army moving through the tops of the Check trees. Beautiful. You ought to touch somebody and tell them now that you've been anointed and you've been down into the hole. Don't move until don't move. God moves. Don't move. And please. when God moves, move with God. Move with oh. God. That's where we are. Move. With Too many times we make it up in our mind by the way I feel by the way somebody treated me that I just ain't gonna take it I'm going to another church I'm going to another district I'm going to another jurisdiction I'm going to another denomination but God wants you to hold and be still, be still. until God moves and when God moves if you move with God you won't make a mistake that's right that's if you right. move with God the devils will be defeated if you move with God move with God peers I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be silly here this is very I got the clothes very important but I wanna know have you been anointed it when the you are anointed Satan has to get out of your way that is true for I heard him say the yoke shall be destroyed yes. because of the anointing. The anointing. Devils have to recognize the anointing. I heard Jesus say the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He anointed me hey, to bring glad tidings. He anointed me to open the eyes of the blind. The 
the Holy Ghost is real, Piers. You just ought to ask somebody, have you been anointed? Have you been anointed? Piers, think about that. This is real. This is real. If you've been anointed, leap to your feet and shout hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. And there you have it. And there you have it. Peers, this is real. I would just like to encourage you to think about the word anointing. And I would like to encourage you to, to look it up. I'm going to come back on here. I'm going to, you know, I'll look up some words for us. And we're going to have a talk. We're going to have a talk about it. The anointing is important, okay? And and David had it, and the bishop had it, and we need to have the anointing because right now a lot of things are happening in our world with COVID-19. So we need the anointing of God, the anointing of the Holy Ghost to cover our minds, okay? So that we can make clear decisions that we're not flying by the seat of our pants, but that we are grounded and anchored, okay? That's my prayer that I pray for myself. That's my prayer that I'm putting out and that I'm praying for you. This is for you, peers. This is for me. This is for us, okay? We need each other. We need each other to wear our masks, right? We need each other. And I just want you to remember that Tomorrow is not certain. It's not certain for you. It's not certain for me. It's not certain for any of us. So, I'm going to leave you on this note. Let me find you. Where you at, peers? Look up the anointing, okay? Look up how do I get saved. Look up COVID-19. If you're still not sure about it. And we'll be back here because Auntie Ani needs to go to church. Okay, because this is the time right now where um, you lay your all on the altar. And I'm going to say this last thing. We have funerals for people. And even us that don't go to church will oftentimes attend a funeral, okay? Right now, there's no opportunity for a funeral, okay? A lot of people are dying, there's no funeral. So, I want you to think about that. That sits, that sits, that sits very, very hard for a lot of people who are used to having that last form of closure. And right now, there is no closure. It looks very different than what we're used to. So I just want to encourage you, come to Jesus now. You know, I know I'm Jesus heavy, but that's just the way it is. COVID-19 is real. It's very real. We're going to continue to come to church, okay? And if church isn't your thing, you know, figure out what is. But, you know, I believe in Jesus Christ, okay? And I believe in, you know, the heavens and the earth being created by the most high, almighty, all-knowing, all-powerful God that's out there, that is part of the Trinity, and you got the Holy Spirit, and you got Jesus. And if you're not rolling with those people, then I don't know what to tell you. I'm not going to judge it, but I'm just going to try it by the word. And I want to know Jesus Christ, you know, for that last day, when I take my last breath, 
and I have to stand before a judgment seat. Okay? You don't just get off, you know, this earth scot-free. You're going to have to meet your maker and you're going to have to be judged. And the thing is, what do you want? your destiny to be because heavens is you know everlasting and everlasting and everlasting where do you want to spend your eternity that's the question peers i'm posing that to you i'm just posing it to you so we're gonna end here in five four we're gonna do a countdown three two one